Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Hi, folks. We're here today with a young man, Mr. Buck Buchanan. Mr. Buchanan, tell, tell us about yourself. Where were you born? Oh, I, I was born in West Bay. 1918. So you were 103 years old. 103 years old. Wow. And uh, my dad was a fisherman, an expert fisherman. He worked also with turpentine penis. And uh, every time he, where he was, I was there. <laughs> okay, you you were born at home. I was born at home. And. Uh, what was West Bay like when you were growing up? <laughs> Just like any other old country town. Uh, since then, uh, it was more or less a center of uh, commerce and contracting and everything. But then everything moved to the beach right. <laughs> and took it away from them. So we all, your house, if the bridge, everybody knows where the West Bay Bridge was, where was your house? Where was my house? It's, uh, it was south of the bridge. Okay. So y'all were some, there were just a few families in West Bay at a time. There was your family, the Buchanans, and who else was there? Uh, the Rogers were there, and the Sowells were there, and the Peels were there, and it, it was cool. And then the Ray family uh, the Ray came on down. Fat, fat Ray family was there. And, but I say it was about the center of the, at that time, about the center of the commerce in that area. But because there was nothing down the brick beach at that time. But we hurt, worked, worked, worked hard because we had no conveniences. To work with. And, uh, my dad was a uh, working turpentine company, and he, he, he was a commercial fisherman, and uh, he worked with he worked for the sawmill one time during the World War One, in Saint after they had in Saint Andrews when they had the, at the uh, where they were, they had a big old sawmill there. Right, and uh, so they he, they put him to work. Let him go. He had two, three kids, and they, they wouldn't put, they kept him in the army. <laughs> so he, they said, we let, we will let you do uh, some, some uh, uh, defense work. Okay. So he worked in so many others, and then he, after the war was over with, he, he uh, kicked, moved back to West Bay, and they built a bridge across the bridge Cross the bay there. And that name is the Buchanan Bridge. The Bu uh, well, that, that was this. The first one was a <laughs> a, flat, a plank bridge. That's right. It was. <laughs> yeah. But then they had another another uh, uh, concrete bridge. Mm -hmm. And then they got this is the third bridge there. Okay. The bay, the Buchanan Bridge. Yeah. Well, they uh, dug the canal. They cut the bridge. And so they had to had to. Uh, had a barge, you swing it in and cars cross it. And it had gates down and the cars cross it. And then when it then they had a boat can you had we had to swing it back, open up the with the boats. And then uh, when the when the course was but anyway, it was quite a procedure to do. Uh, wow. How, how did they open it? Bus. Yes. No, and you, did, you did that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the witch. Yes, what? Witch, uh, witch to open it. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, tell us about your dad fishing back in the 20s and 30s. What kind of fish? Most of mullet. Mullet. Two speck of trout. Yeah, and, uh, had a, and I guess he built his own boat. Y'all built your own uh, boats, or? Well, Daddy wasn't a boat builder. He used somebody else to build his boat. For him. 
Okay. Do you remember who, what family, were the Sowells or what family? The Sowell. The Sowell family built, I remember they built some boats and all. And uh, you did have a big old net, just spread the net out West Bay? Yeah, it's a really yard net. Yeah. Of course, he also was tippered and, and had a, had a, uh, a seine that about 600 yards. And the, the same, they, he was he was a skipper of the same boat. Right. And then uh, after he got through with that, he got, he got his own net. And that's where I came in. So what, so what did you do? Whatever needed to be done. <laughs> So when they caught all those fish, what did y'all do with all the fish y'all caught? Uh, we sold them to a rest, uh, a uh, market there in West Bay. Okay. And uh, for a while we didn't have ice, we had, had to salt them down. And so uh, then, they, then they got ice and they iced them down. But, uh, so you did a lot of the salting? Did I you? did some salting. Yeah. No, well, not because I was too young for that at that time. Okay. So uh, they split the mullet and I pulled the guts out. <laughs> so, <laughs> when you're growing up and all, how did West Bay look? How did the water, was it clear? Water was clear. You have grass in it and well you had grass around it but it was clear because it was it was a, out of a creek. Mm -hmm. Now you got the canal through there and it's it's just buddies up. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different type of water. Now what tell us about flounder gigging. Well you have a have a stick with a with a nail in it, long nail, and you have a light, you have a a torch. So it go along the beach, you find it, you just get them through the head mm -hmm. and string them up. How was the torch put together? What kind of torch? A lighter knot or what? Lighter knots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really a lighter knot thing. Yeah, did you have a, did y'all stay out a long time or just go get a few? Would y'all stay out all the time? You'd have us uh, air, we'd just go flounder and then come back home. <laughs> was there a lot of flounder back then? It was enough to eat. I mean, they weren't a main fish, but, you, but they, were, they were good eating. But you said, you did, okay, you never saw the main redfish back then, did you? Very seldom caught a redfish. Huh. I never did catch one when I was grown. So mainly it was mullet and speckled trout. And a little bit of flounder. Speckled trout and mullet. Okay. Bait fish and stuff and stuff. When I was a teenager, I was mostly uh, my dad was sometimes fishing, sometimes with turpentine. So you, but once you became a teenager, you still uh, hanging around West Bay, oh, yeah. working. And what about the school? Did you, what kind of schoolhouse did you have? Uh, one room. One room schoolhouse. <laughs> you do you remember any of your teachers? Oh yeah. Or do you really? Yeah. What do you remember about them? Oh well, they were regular, regular teachers. Had a uh, one big room with benches. They weren't, they weren't, no, and it's like like this with the benches all lined. Uh, there's six of us in the first grade, and uh, they we lived here. And this was the best chair in front of it was the back part of a desk ahead of it. <laughs> And so the next grade was up here on the next next bench, and they and uh, they they were had one. We had our books, and so forth. Of course, I already knew them because of, I had the same books that my sister had, and she taught me all this. <laughs> but we had a, I think a first grade day, a teacher named Miss Blue, and she uh, she played probably. That was one big room had about two teachers in it. Eight grades in one room. Then they put a built another room. They just split them up. They got another teacher in that room. And so, uh, and eventually, 
as I got on up to eighth grade, we had another room, and, and uh, there was four graduated eighth grade. Four? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and of course, uh, I was the only one that went to high school. Uh, we had a school bus go to Bay High. Okay, so what year did you graduate from Bay High School? 36. 1936. Okay, so World War II was getting ready to get started. What did you do uh, then? I, I was in the National Guard. National Guard, uh, yeah. Okay. And, uh, but, uh, Okay, so okay, so right when you when you graduated, they were started building the canal to West Bay, the intercoastal waterway. Yeah, Did you work on that? Some I worked on it, so, and I worked. Then I worked on. Worked started working with the state, scraping paint bridges. Okay, and uh, see steel steel truss bridges. Had one in East Bay. Mm -hmm. And they had a little West Bay, I mean, across Hathaway Bridge, a steel truss bridge. I worked on that. Then, it, then they gave me a bridge to the job to pull in the boat back to water. But first, before I went, I, before I did that, I would, I would, uh, work with, uh, with the, the dredge company and uh, hit, 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 dig the bridge, dig the canal. Yeah. So then you went in the army later yeah. after that. Well, what was it? I was with the National Guard, and they were inducted into the army. The whole whole unit was okay. And so I was in the unit. So we were in Texas, I think, doing something, and they said we're going to send you set across the pond. So we put us on trains. Put all of our boats in them and put our all of our equipment on the train, and it, they sent it ahead. Then put us on the train. We went to Fort Dix, New Jersey, and so instead of going to, to France, they said we're going to need you in Alaska. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so they they sent us all of our all of our equipment over in, in France. That's the way. But anyway. They put us on a boat go, go to Alaska. And so uh, that's what, what they're doing was uh, but the Japs were taking up taking up the islands and they were going down. Mm -hmm. And so they sent us we had to, we had to revise the airport for the you know, bombers and so forth. Mm -hmm. Okay, for Christmas '43, we was living in a tent, with a double bank, double bank. We got up minus '43. <laughs> minus '43. Minus '43. Whoa, that's cold for a boy <laughs> from West. Cold. For a boy from West Bay, that was cold. Yeah, and uh, their stove was a little cold thing, heated by the by coal. They dumped some coal out of the, out the front of And us poor fraud boys could, couldn't build a fire with coal. <laughs> but but it, we, we learned. <laughs> but but then later on we put us in Quonset huts. We didn't live on the base, we lived out of the woods. And so, so bear, deer, not too many deer, but, but the moose. Great run, moose. About the fish, go fishing. Oh, we 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 fish too. We had a lot of lakes, and all kind of fish. Alaska in the forties. That's pretty strong. And so, so uh, I don't know. I enjoy it. I mean, I ski. I learned how to ski, <laughs> and, and uh. Oh, uh, halibut. Okay, halibut. Yeah, I was on a boat, and it, we was in Juno Bay, and one of the one of the cooks he had he was fishing with his, with a line. He had him in the line, but he had to go cook supper. 
and I got a 10, 10 pound car like Halliman. <laughs> I told Halliman to have a car. A rainbow trout, plenty of Dolly Bard, plenty of Brown trout, plenty of them. They were a lot of fish. That's cool. Cut a hole in the ice, fish through the hole. <laughs> but I couldn't skate. <laughs> I, I never could skate. I, I, uh, uh, Lanky was what's take what's take. Yeah. But uh, but I learned how to survey. So, so that's where I learned engineering, mostly in Alaska. And when the war ended, do you remember when the war ended? Oh yeah. Where were you? In Fort Benning. In Fort Benning. Everybody was happy, wasn't it? Yeah, everybody was happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. When the war ended, so everybody was happy. You got married during the war, so you always started a family. I married before we got in the war. Before you got in the war. That was smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was 1940. We got married in 1940, and I, I went. They inducted us in 40 into the Army. Okay. And uh, so. Uh, so we came back to West Bay and uh, came back to West Bay. After I got out of the army, I came back and uh, uh, went to back, back work with the state. Got a job here. Okay, okay. Let's we'll talk about the you engineer with the state. Yeah. And y'all did some a lot of surveying. Now. Well, it was close. I mean, we. Uh, Lots of that was, was building roads and so forth. So, so we had to supervise the building of the roads. Then, then we started, they, they put me on survey and location new roads. And uh, I worked, worked for that. And, and then they, they put me back on the, back on building, building roads again. So, I worked pretty well all the all together. You had a, you're famous for, for a lot of things, but I, one of the things that really struck out my mind, tell us about when they started planning Interstate 10 for the Alabama State Line to Jacksonville. You were in on that, so what what happened on that? Well, they, they gave me a maps, air photograph, marked on it, it says, find this point and go this way. <laughs> And that port was was in Alabama. They're about to work a weather station, and we found found where the port, and we crossed that river, and and. and uh, so you drove the very first stake for inter surveying Interstate 10. Is that right? Well, I, I, I put my foot to drive it there. <laughs> well, well, yeah, drive it there, right? <laughs> but that that that's amazing that you were there the very first stake. And then we would we went across the across the river in a kind of a horseshoe thing, and it was it wasn't walk right where it was, so we went back and redid it, and then cut a cut a canal. We we changed the state line. We cut a canal on a channel change. <laughs> that that moved the state line right there. <laughs> it pertained to the Senate. and so. So we, anyway, we, we uh, kept going on, kept going on. So you, we, you, we had another job too. You were surveying? I, 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 uh, I, was, a, I was chief of party. Okay. And then, uh, uh, then I went, uh, stood it up and got to be a, a professional engineer, a professional land surveyor. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when they did that, they promoted me. Did a one party, they had three of them. <laughs> three parties. <laughs> and so, uh, and we, I say to that, we, we finished up to, uh, got to, to the end of the district, which was in Monticello. 
Okay, so you walked all the way by basically from the Alabama state line where the Interstate 10, or the court, you, you walked most of that all the way to Monticello. That's right, yeah. And that, so that day we moved, loaded up and moved to Panama City. We did the first job was with Lynn Haven. They built the Lynn Haven Bridge. We wasn't on the bridge, we was on the approaches to the bridge. We got it. So we did the job from Lynn Haven to, to Panama City, I mean, to the, to the East Avenue mm -hmm. down there. It ended up at, at, at the uh, uh, mill bill. Yeah, the paper mill going that way. The paper mill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, and they went, then he went, James Allen had put him in charge of a crew and he wound up being a resident engineer mm -hmm. and they put me on location for the survey. All right, now, uh, a couple of other things you told me, you also did a survey for the, the original uh, layout for the St. George Island Bridge? Yes, ma'am. Well, yeah, we did that. I mean, they, they put me, it was four miles. And uh, they put, uh, they had no survey that ever did. We never didn't know what, never didn't know how far it was and here there. So uh, we had we had to uh, do a triangulation, mm -hmm. uh, and finally got 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 it uh, got a distance from here to there. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.